Maxwell. Welcome back to my channel. This is J Max Reacts. Today I'm watching the um, cut video that says, What's your biggest insecurity? Keep it 100. Let's see what that says. What are you insecure about? My toenails. Let me see them. What? Not today. I'm We're not doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that respectfully. Okay. Interesting. What are you most insecure about? Oh, Ooh. that's a tough question. I left my thing. I mean, a whole bunch of things. Well, if we're going to talk about physical, definitely my body. My body. 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 My body is just like lumpy now. My ears. My teeth. My eyes. My chest. My like muscles. I have a, like a pretty, pretty big forehead. My double chin. So I used to only have one. Okay. What are you most insecure about? Hmm. Most of the time I hike around people, just I feel like I'm always lumbering over people. I'm really <laughs> short, but I feel like sometimes people don't respect me. I have maybe what you could call like milk made legs. Right. What does that look I like? think that just means like thick, thick in the calf. What are you most insecure about? My skin. Skin? I have recently developed hormonal acne. Ooh. All my friends just have clear faces and I, I tend to compare myself a lot. I really struggle with ADHD. I take medication for it. I mean, I guess I deal with anxiety. I'll just be anxious and be a mess sometimes. Asking for help is really scary for me because I was afraid to fail. Ooh, I held hair. myself back from doing things that like maybe I would be really great yes, at bro. and I would really love. What are you most insecure about? <laughs> My person Pers personality. Ooh. I think that I have a bit of a personality that you either love or you hate. Okay. I'm always really scared of coming across as too much, too much for people. Cause I got even fired from a job because of my personality. Right. I just speak how I feel. A lot of my insecurities are based on like not feeling like I fit in places. What's your biggest insecurity? That sometimes I don't stand up for myself. I do oh, things I more so mind. for others. Being emotional and sensitive. What are you most insecure about? How I'm perceived. How people feel about me. Mm -hmm. My impression that I leave on other people. It's like talking to newer people. And I'm always like worried. I'm like, oh my God, what if I say the wrong thing? I could barely have the wrong tone and I'm apologizing to people immediately to make sure that I didn't offend them. I guess like it, it's along the lines of kind of second guessing myself. Did something happen that triggered that? Just like since I started working in the workplace, honestly. What are you most insecure about? Oh shoot, what I'm most insecure about. That's a heavy one. This is gonna sound weird, but like how much weed I smoke, I feel like people are are always like, I don't want to date a daily smoker. Have you always been insecure about that? Well, I wasn't always a daily smoker, so when I wasn't, I was never insecure about it. I'm most insecure about my femininity because I am a gay male. Being black and gay in Iowa, someone oh, always wow. expected me to be blacker because I was black or less black because I was around all white people. I used to be super insecure about the fact that I'm a mixed race. That I have a really white voice and I identify as a black person. <laughs> what are you most insecure about? Right now, my weight. My weight. My weight. 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 It's my biggest struggle. This right here. I was always the fat kid, the fat friend. Freshman year of high school, I noticed that my stomach was getting a lot bigger and that made me very depressed. So Aww. I started to eat more to feel better. They would call me fat, so then I got an eating disorder and then got really skinny, and then I was too skinny for them. Anything I did, they would just tear me down for it. I've been plus size my whole life. I just, you know, don't fit conventional beauty standards. Like actors and people on TV, they have a particular body style. You just kind of have that ingrained into your mind. Fat phobia is just so integrated into every single part of our community that it's almost like impossible not to internalize it. Mm -hmm. What are your biggest insecurities? I am the least educated person in my family. My grandparents have PhDs. My mom's in a PhD program, and I dropped out of college to go to culinary school. Okay. Biggest insecurity go. is that I'm not smart enough. Being perceived as dumb. I think that was a constant message growing up. Because I can be so bubbly that people often think I don't have a brain up in there. What are you most insecure about? That at 22, I don't feel like I've accomplished enough with my life. Yeah, I just girl. always feel guilty like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I should have had like a significant other for longer than two months at this point. What would it feel like the right amount of time to have had a significant other? At least six months, I would say. <laughs> what are you most insecure about? My lack of employment. So right now, I like just started a new job and I feel like I have imposter, imposter, imposter syndrome oh, in the workplace. That's so I just sometimes have to try to push myself and convince myself almost on a daily basis that yes, I am right for this. Where does that come from, you think? Being shy and just 
I don't know, not always feeling the best about myself and what I'm doing. Any advice for those dealing with insecurities? <laughs> my, my most advice is fake it till you make it. You think that's no. something that's insecurities? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> advice for those who are struggling with the same insecurities? Just don't give a fuck. Like, okay. just, just be who you are. The only person that can tell you anything true about yourself is you. You were created the way that you are, and that's enough for yourself. Uh, I think you just gotta do, not think. I also think I stole that quote from <laughs> Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really, um, really good one. And I, I think y'all probably could saw me nodding and kind of like throwing little suggestions out there. Um, at this point in life, I, I try not to be insecure about things. If I feel, you know, insecurity creeping up, um, I try to address it at the root and just tell myself, you know, it's okay. You can move past these things, especially when it's things you can control um, reasonably, like your weight. You can always kind of do things for that. Um, but then also you have to also take a time, you know, take time to look at yourself and say, you know what, I might not fit this conventional standard, but I'm still very attractive <laughs> to me and to some people you know i might not make the mold for everybody but you know it is what it is where that's concerned imposter syndrome is a real one that i faced a lot in my earlier career and now i'm super self-confident in my skill sets enough that when i have interviewed for jobs i've been so confident in just telling people this is what i can do this is what i can't do these are the things i would need area um these are areas i would need to be strengthened in and these are areas that you know <laughs> i'm going to excel in um, having that that type of self confidence, but that took you know being in my career for five years and being passive and not standing up for myself. You know, getting all this experience but being mentally jacked up. I told y'all that <laughs> in my get to know me video. I had a job that just tore me down to the deepest, darkest pits of of mental. Just like I just was not where I needed to be mentally. I was losing my mind daily. But when I walked away, my resume was stacked. To this day, that job has still given me so much experience that I'm able to kind of pull from, whether it's direct or transferable. And that has been one of the most incredible experiences. It's like it broke me down, but it also built me up in a way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think at this point, one thing I do find myself insecure about is for sure, um, still where I'm at in life. I, I know I said to homegirl, like, you got time because she's 22. Me, I'm, I'm about to be 30. So I'm like, there are some things that I'm not like, it's not this big press, like I have to do it, but it's things that I know I need to start aligning and fixing myself to be able to do in my 30s. Um, because I am, you know, hopefully by the end of 2023, going to be a doctor in my field. And I'm excited about that. <laughs> but I know there are some things I need to do, some steps I need to take to make sure I'm doing what I need to do with that concerned. And naturally, my weight has ebbed and flowed. I started um, high school, like 90 some pounds. I was a stick figure. Um, and I graduated college like what like 10 years later, and baby, I was bloated. <laughs> and so now something I struggle with is body dysmorphia, as well as um like just having a very interesting body type in general. So I can I super identify with that. I'm able to lose weight relatively quickly and keep it off, but then like when I have like spurts of just inactivity, it comes back in the weirdest ways. Like I can't explain that. So um yeah. This was a good one. I love, 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 and enjoy cut videos. Just for this, they give you different perspectives and things like that. So let me know your thoughts about this. What's your biggest insecurity? If you have one, you know, what's your advice to other people um, to get past it? I, I personally do agree and align with the don't give a fuck theory. <laughs> Live your life, be who you are, and, and you know, tell everybody else. <laughs> but yes, let me know what you thought about this below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.